Hey guys, it's one times fun here. And um <coughs> Yeah, uh I decided to play a little golem pusher. Yeah, this is a map that was created by Seth Bling. Seth Bling. Um I can't see that name on camera. Ugh. Um so yeah. What you gotta do is um it's basically like coin pusher. Ooh, I won. Ooh, I won two times. Lucky me. Ooh, I won three times. Oh, I'm good at this. So what you gotta do is um So you must um so you gotta it's a creative game. So you have to be creative to play it. But what you do is so you place the blocks like this. Just anywhere. I just like to use it in this spot because I always win here. Because um, I oh because that's this because this is the only spot that I can win at. Well, like the only spot that I win at. Like it, it for some reason it may just like it just. I just, I just, it's best for me here. Oh, let's go on. Hit the one. And when you win, you, um, hey, you. Um, so when you win, um, it drops, uh, it converts, you get exactly what you gave the machine, except your iron blocks get turned into diamond blocks, which is a pretty good trade, I think. And so you just put the, um, get in there, and hopefully you win. So it's basically just like coin pressure. That you might have played at an arcade, but it's with golems instead. So, um, and uh, a good way to tell how many times you won is um, keep the number of pumpkins that you have. So then it'll tell you how many times you've won. So I have won six times. Cool, seven. So I have won seven times because you gotta keep the amount of pumpkins you have, and then you have to so you so the amount of pumpkins you have minus one. And that's how many times you've won. So it's pretty simple. If I want, I can go down here, but I don't want to interfere with the game. I have no idea why those golems are like that. That's what we're like. Um, I have to explore this map a bit. And, um, what Tusling did is, um, he made it so you cannot, um, go and see his other creations. Molge. Usherp. Molger. Usherp. Um, so he made it so you can only um, uh, see golem pusher. You can't see his other creations, which is a pretty which is pretty smart because um, because like he's probably got a lot of hidden things that he doesn't want um, other people looking at. Not like our still work in progress things that are secret. So this is um. Underneath it, apparently, it's like all the mechanics and stuff. So these are the. It actually looks pretty simple. This closer is probably a bunch of hidden redstone. So um, oh, I've got a lot of diamond from this. So as you can see, these are the dispensers that dispense all the stuff that you win.
But there is one thing I do not understand. Why does this one have one less diamond than every other one? And that have one less pumpkin. That I do not know. And that I will fix. I will also fix that. No, I will check for it. So, um, I have stone in my inventory because, um, earlier I didn't actually get, I didn't understand it because, um, uh, I thought something broke, but I didn't, but it didn't break, so it was fine. Um, ooh, is, I uh, wanted the void look red. Did he pull this in the nether? No. Yeah, so he probably just, um, cut all this. So we probably just cut this part and then made this the link. So it's, it's pretty neat. So, um, check it out. Uh, if you want, uh, Seth Bling was the creator, uh, check out his channel. Um, till next time, one time's funnest out.